Hey everybody, it's time for another empties video. I haven't done one since I moved in here. So it's been at least six weeks or so and look how full it's getting. I was like, oh my goodness, I need to film this. Even if it doesn't go up right away, I need to film it so I can get rid of this stuff. So I'm gonna jump right in and tell you what I thought about the products that I used up. The first one is from L'Oreal. It's the Volume Collagen Shampoo for fine flat hair. I'm really loving the L'Oreal line of uh, hair care shampoo and conditioner products and um, I really like this. I feel like it did help my flat hair a bit. It cleaned well and um, I don't know. I just liked it. I'd probably repurchase it. The next one is the Coconut Body Wash from Desert Essence. I had high hopes for this. I did really like the scent of it. Um, although it wasn't that moisturizing. It didn't slide up, all, suds up all that great. And it was really hard to squeeze out of the tube. But the smell was amazing, so I don't know if I'd repurchase it. It's a like an in-between. This one I've had in my jar for years, because I used to be more of like a platinum blonde. And this is the Joyco Color Endure Violet Shampoo. And that's what that looks like there. Um, just really good to get out brassy tones in your hair if you are quite blonde. And I have used it, because I do have some blonde in my hair, I have used it now and then, but I've just finally used it up and I liked it. It's very, very purple. All right, so the next product is from that same L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. They're a pair, and it's the Volume Collagen Conditioner. And out of the shampoo and the conditioner, I think I liked the conditioner the most. It was still surprisingly really hydrating, um, but didn't weigh, weigh my hair down. So, to, and then, I don't know, when I paired them together, they just worked really well together. So I will definitely be investing in that again. And then a body wash is the Body Butter Coconut Cream Body Wash from Soft Soap. This one, I feel like I've used it in the past and it was better in the past. I don't know though, it could have been like a slightly different version of this. It was okay, like it did the job, but it wasn't spectacular or amazing. It didn't smell like extra fantastic and I'm really into the scent of my body wash, so I don't think I'd get that one again. The next one it's for my kids, and uh, it's the Jason brand kids only conditioner, and it's um, all natural type hair product. I've been experimenting with lots of different brands. This conditioner was okay, it did condition their hair, um, although I found other natural brands that I like more. And I got this one off Vitacost, so it wasn't too expensive, but um, it, was, it was just okay. My kids have really long hair now. If you don't watch my mommy channel, it's like almost down to their bum in the back. And um, because my first daughter didn't have hair until she was three years old, I'm like so nervous to cut it. They've had little trims, but I'm so nervous to actually give them a an actual haircut. But I feel like it's it's so much to manage, just to clean it and then to brush it every day and then to do something with it. I don't know, totally off topic, but I need to think about that. Another L'Oreal hair product. This is the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This is the second one I've gone through of this. Looks like there's still some in there, but there really isn't. Um, it's a hair mask, and it's a really great hair mask, and it's a really inexpensive hair mask. And uh, it's more deep conditioning than a, con than a conditioner. And I'd use it like maybe once a week. Um, just to add a little bit of extra softness and shine to my hair, and I really liked it. And I probably would repurchase it again. This I also got off Vitacost. I'll leave Vitacost links down down below if you want to check them out. They sell like supplements and hair products and skincare and all sorts of things and they have really great deals. And I got the Alba Botanical Even Advanced Night Cream. I got this because it was on sale and it's a more natural brand and I wasn't super picky when I purchased it. And it pleasantly surprised me. When it came in the mail and I used it for the first time, it, it's amazing. I don't know if it's like a nostal nostalgic scent to me, but the scent, it's just so amazing. It was a very thick but smooth night cream, super hydrating. It was like a pleasure to put on, just the way it smells. It smells like, I'm not good with scents, but it's definitely something ocean-esque about it. Um, and it just worked fantastic. And I just, I looked forward to using this night cream. So I will be purchasing that again. Another face cream product is from the brand Peerless, and I was introduced to this face cream by Ipsy. I got little sample ones, and I fell in love, and I bought the full size, and I'm still in love with this face moisturizer. It is so luxurious, so creamy. Um, the scent is nothing spectacular, but it just, 
it's just so creamy and so hydrating it just works so well i just i can't describe all the reasons why i love it but i do and i believe it's yeah it's all natural it's just blue lotus white tea soy protein sea silk and lupine peptides that's it and i love it i've already repurchased another one and i'm using it it's not cheap though it's like 35 dollars i think but um the some things like skincare i'll invest in when i can uh this is the brand APC. It came in an Ipsy box. It's an exfoliant. I had it in my shower. Lasted me quite a long time. Nothing fantastic about this. It's very fine in consistency, like microderm abrasion, but almost not enough grit to really do its job. So no, I would not repurchase that. This is from the Body Shop. It's the Seaweed Mattifying Day Cream, and it's a little sample one, and I've loved this um, day cream for years. I actually purchased a full size again and I brought it with me to Mexico because it's a mattifying cream for your face. So when you're in hot environments, it just helps keep everything oil free. They have an SPF version of this, but my favorite is the non-SPF version. And I would, I'm would i going to purchase it for years and years to come. Another little sample thing is the L'Oreal Total 5 Repair Restoring Conditioner. Um, I have a hard time remembering these when they're small. Obviously, it wasn't enough to me, for me to be like, wow, that's amazing, but uh, I finished it up. It's part of my empties. I have a foundation in here. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Finally finished this up. Um, I used it religiously for like six months, I want to say, last year. And then I just fell in love with other things and sat to the wayside. And I made a conscious effort over the last couple of months to use it up. I paired it with BB creams a lot or other foundations. I loved it in the beginning because it was so mattifying. Um, but I feel like my skin has changed. I'm not quite as oily. So I don't need something quite as mattifying. And I feel like because it was mattifying, it doesn't look as natural on the skin. Although it's got amazing coverage and it's a beautiful foundation. It just, it's just not quite right for my... Um, my skin type anymore. If you're oily girl though, I would I would definitely recommend it. This is the CRX Microdermabrasion Face and Body Scrub. Very, whoa, there we go. Very similar to the APC one I showed you. Uh, very small grit to it, but not enough grit to satisfy my need to scrub my face. I like bigger grit. I don't know what to say, just do. And then, Two little samples. One is the Lancome New Visionaire One Minute Blur. I use that up. I got two trials out of it. It's like a primer moisturizer type thing before you put on foundation. And I'm happy to report that it did nothing. I'm happy because it's Lancome and I didn't want to fall in love with it anyways because it would probably be really expensive. But um, it did nothing. I didn't notice nothing. So that was that one. And the second one was from Alginist. This I must have used this a long time ago. Multi-perfecting pore corrector gel moisturizer. Oh yeah, yeah. Very interesting moisturizer, very lightweight gel consistency. Dries to like nothing on your face, but still does hydrate your skin. Um, not something I'm going to purchase because I'm sure it's expensive as well and um, I wasn't wowed by it. So yeah, those are my empties. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thanks so much for watching. Bye!